I've been really struggling recently to decide where I wanted to go to do some outdoor photography and the main reason for that is probably the weather. It's been quite erratic lately. We've had dark days, we've had rainy days, we've had sunny days and days like today which is a bit of a mashup of everything together. Now I realised that I was probably overthinking it a little bit and so what I have done today, I have just opened the map of Gloucestershire and I have just picked somewhere that I have not been before. So welcome to Coley Peak. If you watched my Yuli Berry video then you'll recognise this small hill. Unbeknownst to me, you can also see this hill from this side of Coley Peak. Now I've completely forgotten what this hill's name is, it is somewhere stored in my brain and so I'll pop it on screen or any locals in the comment section to feel free to educate me. <laughs> I'm very drawn to this hill for some reason, it just really calls to me and so knowing now that there are two different viewing points that I could get an early morning misty kind of autumn capture of it is quite exciting. It was quite bright and sunny early and so I've been walking around taking a few snaps and because it's bright and sunny I've been able to go handheld and I've got a couple of nice images, kind of a visual representation of the view of Coley Peak. So I think we're just going to crack on and continue to explore Coley Peak as much as possible and just see what happens. I'm really trying to get these two trees in some of my images because they are beautiful trees. And I've got this one shot lined up here with the tree in the foreground on the left side. We've got the tree branches kind of arching over the landscape and the hill in the background. The only problem is the hill in the background on the sky is much, much brighter than this tree, which is in shadow of its own branches. And so I'm playing around with focus stacking and exposure bracketing to try and get an evenly exposed and focused image. I have positioned the branches at the top and left a small gap between the horizon and these tree branches to make a nice clean separation. I've given it a slightly wider gap as these branches and leaves are moving and I don't want them to accidentally dip down into the hill there. I'm actually really enjoying myself, just kind of sat here and taking in the sun, the view, getting some fresh air. <laughs> We've still got quite a bit of sun and some intermittent clouds, intermit intermittent, intermittent clouds. <laughs> Looking across all of these fields though and watching how the light catches some of them, then we've got lone trees in the middle of farmer fields, we've got clusters of sheep and cows makes me want to really get up close to all those intricate details and take a closer look at this view. Unfortunately at the moment I don't have a telephoto lens but I am considering buying a Tamron 100 to 400 at some point as I think it could be really interesting for my landscape photography. So I was just crossing a field to the other side of Coley Peak when a composition struck me and I'm pretty close to this fence right now. There is a fence that is preventing you from slipping down the cliffside of Coley Peak. Now this composition I don't think is perfect for today. I think the sky in the background is a little too bland but if you can imagine a sunrise or a sunset going on in the background then I think it would make this perfect but I'm gonna take a couple of snaps anyway. Now I'm using my 24 to 120 millimeter lens because I wanna zoom in a little closer. And what I'm zooming into is this curving road on the left hand side. We've got a lot of traffic coming up and down and I'm pretty sure this is the road that I came up on to get to Coley Peak. And then what we've got on the right are some really interesting trees. And I think these will look great in autumn. You can already see some of the tree leaves changing color 
Towards the back on the left hand side you've just got just got some of the fields and I think that would look really great with some golden light shining down on it. So what I'm going to do is take a couple of snaps and see how they turn out and then store them in the bank for later for future inspiration here. As I continued to walk along Coley Peak towards the right of it, I started to think that I'd pretty much seen it all. But instead, I've come through this parting of the trees and found myself in a completely different place. There are three different pathways here. One is going straight ahead, and that looks very chaotic. My sister told me to stop using the word chaotic. She makes fun of me for it. But right now, my brain can't think of another word. So comment in... <laughs> Comment down below what other words you would use apart from chaotic. Messy, we'll use messy. It is very messy. The path to the left I think goes back to where I just came from, but the path to the right looks very intriguing, so I think I'm going to follow it that way for a bit. But when you're given three different paths and you've got to choose one, it kind of feels like a Pottermore quiz. Which house are you? I really love this area here with these tree roots crossing the path from both directions and we've got all these leaves on the floor and they're kind of browny grey colour but it still reminds me and feels like autumn which is almost here and I love how these tree roots lead to the path that I just came down and we've got a tiny bit of sunlight coming in as well to make those greens pop. So I'm absolutely overwhelmed right now. This area is just fantastic and I was not expecting it. It's a pleasant surprise, but it also shows you how much I researched Coley Peak before I got here. <laughs> there are pathways going in all sorts of directions right now and I feel as though if I start getting really stuck into it, I could be here for quite some time. And unfortunately, we are running out of time. The light is starting to go and so we are not going to be able to do that today. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you stick around on the Courtney Victoria channel to check out my next photography outing.